Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life. In today's McDojo Breakdown, we're going to be talking about a guy who truly believes he can knock people out with his mind. Let's check it out and let's break it down. The guy you just got done watching in that video goes by the name of Grandmaster Paul Bowman. Are you not going to make fun of the guy's name? This is usually the part in the video where you make fun of the fraud's martial artist's name. Are you not going to do that today? Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. Paul Bowman is the founder and head of an organization called Zendo Ru. And you guessed it, he's a 10th degree black belt in this system. I mean, really, it's kind of like the best perk of starting your own martial art is giving yourself the highest rank. I'm the captain now. According to his website, the three people that inspired him the most during his martial arts career were Wally J, Remy Prasas, I'm pretty sure I messed up his name, I don't care, and you guessed it, the head honcho himself, Mr. George Dillman. Also, according to his website, those three martial arts instructors, when combined, are known as the Big Three. Low-hanging fruit. Now, the last one on that list is the most important one on the list because that is the most influential person in this martial artist's life, Grandmaster George Dillman. Now, if you're unfamiliar with who George Dillman is, you're probably new to the channel, but I'll show you a quick clip real fast. Women, this is positive. This is negative. Now, I'm going to explain this. It has nothing to do with this young lady. I only met her for the first time, but... If a woman is pregnant and the baby is tested with the pulse on this hand and the pulse beats stronger than this hand, she will be having a boy. That's how correct that is. That would almost be really funny if it wasn't ridiculously untrue and not even close to scientifically correct. Maybe George Dillman isn't exactly the guy you really want to listen to in terms of whether or not your child will be born a male or a female. But how about this? What is his martial arts background like? Just in case you guys are curious about what George Dillman has also done, let's check out one more clip just for fun. Ding. The move, the sound, is on the attack from behind. So anytime you're going, we did the pulling, anytime you would attack anybody from back to front, if you add that sound, you enhance the technique because it pulls the chi back to front through that person. Understood? Paul Bowman is so close with George Dillman, he is in fact the head of Dillman Karate International in Europe. Paul Bowman stated that George Dillman was one of the top three biggest influences in his martial arts career. Top three. The top three, right? My question is, how the hell do you look at any of those clips that I just showed you of George Dillman and go, you know what? This is what I want to be a part of now. You know what? Not only do I want to be a part of that, I got to be like a head honcho in this organization. This is what my life is going to be about. I got to learn how to knock people out with my mind. Because, of course, that's real. No. As stated a moment ago, he is the head of Dillman Karate International in Europe. And since he is the head of Dillman Karate International in Europe, that means that the style that he's actually teaching is called Kyoshu Jitsu. Dim up. In Japan, it's Kyushu Jitsu. You know, the style where they just poke people and the people just kind of fall over like this. As stated before, even though he is the head of Dillman Karate International in Europe, he still decided that wasn't good enough. He's got to start his own organization, Zendo Ru, in which he can give himself the 10th degree black belt and have the power of being in charge of people. 
Another thing that's interesting about Paul Bowman is he always seems to have a guy with him by the name of Master Graham Dieball. The funniest part about Graham Dieball is how he takes the falls whenever he gets knocked out, which he isn't really getting knocked out. He's just a horrific actor. Look, let's do a little side by side here. Here is Graham Dieball getting knocked out by Paul Bowman. Okay, and here is a wacky waving inflatable tomb arm man. Virtually identical. Paul Bowman has a lot of footage out there. It's not very hard to find his stuff. All you have to do is type in Paul Bowman into the search bar or Master Paul Bowman or however you want to uh, boost this man's ego in your search bar and his stuff will pop up. He even has full seminars out there. But I have to tell you, after all of the stuff that I've seen, besides the no-touch knockout that I showed you guys at the very beginning of this video, I have to say this is personally my favorite knockout that he's ever done because it's so ridiculous and the acting is so bad that... You would just look at these people and go, what's wrong with you? What, what is wrong with you? There's no way you really believe this nonsense. But they do. Check it out. Oh. Let's just go and set the record straight in terms of debunking. You are not going to knock someone out by hitting them in the tricep. It's not going to happen for you. I, I mean, I'm sorry to shatter your dreams and your hopes, but it's not going to happen. I'll even one-up my statement by instead of just being a skeptic, I'll toss myself into the ring here and I will let you know, hey, if you would like specifically Grandmaster Paul Bowman, if you think that you can knock somebody out by hitting them in the tricep, I am more than happy to have you do that to me. You are more than welcome. I'll set up the time and the date and you can chop me or elbow me or headbutt me or hump my arm. I don't even care what it is. And you can attempt to knock me out by hitting me in the tricep. Oh, by the way, I've been doing this for about 24 years of my life. There's my resume. Also, I've been around for quite a while. Um, somebody said that they, those, they were very cute uh, middle school trophies and most of those I got as an adult when I was competing internationally for the last or for the two years that I was competing internationally. So the challenge stands. If Mr. Grandmaster Paul Bowman would like, you are more than welcome to hit me in the tricep and try to knock me unconscious and we can show the world just how ridiculous that is. Hit me up anytime. My line's always open. I go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Instagram and I let anyone join live. You are more than welcome to come on live and let me know all about what I just said that was incorrect or even take me up on my challenge. If you've been following this page for more than, I don't know, a week, you probably know that I have a scale called the Dillman scale and that's how I judge how crazy people are. I'm pretty sure you guys already know what I'm going to call this one. This is five out of five Dillmans. The guy is directly under George Dillman. He believes he can knock people out with his magical chi powers. He thinks he can knock people out by hitting him in the tricep. And I just, I, I don't know. I got nothing else for you, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. Five out of five Dillmans. If you are a member of the page, by all means, please toss up your own emojis, whatever emoji you would like, and give it a grading scale of your own. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. I always like to add something a little extra at the end of these videos so I can kind of figure out who's watched the entire video. But also, it's just fun for the interactions, and I like reading your comments more this way. Um, so whenever you guys leave a comment in the comment section below about this particular video today, let me know who your fantasy matchup is between any of the frauds that we've done a McDojo breakdown on and how you would like them to fight, whether it be MMA or boxing or how you see it going down. Let me know. Let's see, let's see what the comments say. Who is your favorite martial arts frauds? that we've done McDojo breakdowns on, and who would you like to see fighting each other out of those frauds? I'm curious your comments in the comment sections. So I talked about this as well, just in case you have stayed this long, which means you actually care, about whenever I do McDojo news stories, I cover some really dark topics sometimes. Sometimes it actually does include things like child molestation and things like that. And so I do those videos and every time I do those videos, they are almost always demonetized, almost every time. And I understand that. To be honest, I get it. And I don't do those necessarily for the money. I do those because I want you guys to see these, these 
people who have done horrible things, so that way you understand who they are. So when they try to introduce themselves back into the fold of martial arts, you can spot them and stay away from them for safety purposes. But I have to say, the reason that I'm able to do that is specifically because of our members. Everyone who's actually purchased and become a member, you're the reason we're able to do those stories. So I cannot thank you enough. It means so much that you guys are willing to support in such a way. And it makes me want to work even harder this year to expose more frauds, more con artists, and get that information out there. So I got to say a big shout out to everybody who's an actual member of the page. Thank you so much for that. It means everything. Thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and all that other crap people online tell you to do. Keep the martial arts legit.